I 100% agree wholeheartedly with Devontae Smith and his thoughts on these A.J. Brown trade rumors. I'm not I'm going, going to communicate. King Dick by here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So finally, can we put these AJ Brown trade rumors to bed? Can we finally get rid of them? Because they've been bogus from the day they started. They're bogus now. And they're going to be bogus the rest of the year. AJ Brown will be an Eagle next season. That is just the way it is. I know it. You know it. Devontae Smith knows it. Future Eagle Michael Parsons knows it. Mark Holmes' chickens that he's getting ready to sacrifice know it. Everybody knows it. That kitten just woke up because it knows it. A.J. Brown's not going anywhere. Okay? And now, you may be saying to me, well, listen, Philly, the Eagles need to rebuild. They need draft picks. Any talk of rebuilding, any talk of rebuilding left the building when the Eagles decided to bring back Nick Sirianni. The fact that Nick Sirianni's coming back, the fact that they get a 60-something-year-old defensive coordinator who may only want to coach for a few more years, the fact that they got Kellen Moore, who's been offensive coordinator for six years, the fact that they're going with experience, and the fact that they brought back Nick Sirianni, this team is not rebuilding. Forget it. That word does not fit this team. You can say retooling, but the Eagles... They are going to try to win next year, and that's going to make them uh, very, very aggressive. Uh, when you go into the offseason, especially when you're not in a rebuild mode, which the Eagles aren't, the idea is to bring in pieces and bring in talent, and you do it while keeping the talent you already have. You don't empty it, okay? And listen... I am not coming at this uh, point of view from a perspective, and if you've known me and you've been with me for a while, you know I don't get emotionally attached to players to the point where I want to keep them at all costs. That left long ago. When the Eagles got rid of Reggie White, it broke me. It broke me. I like players. I get attached to players, but when they go, they go. I, I root for the team on the front more than the player in the back. I mean, I love Devontae Smith. He's my favorite player on the Eagles. You know what? If he goes, then it is what it is. I would say whatever, have a great career, but we move on. I don't get attached. So I'm not coming at this from a point of attachment or being attached. I'm coming at it from a point of common sense. The common sense is this. The Eagles... They have Howie Roseman. They've made no changes in the front office. They kept the coach. They brought in two experienced coordinators. There's no way they're trading A.J. Brown this year, especially when you look at his cap. Um, he, I think he's only like $12 million against the cap in 2024. Let's see, his number is $12.4 million against the cap this year. You would have $42 million in dead money if you tried to trade him, okay? And and to me, that's crazy. That that's absolute craziness. You don't you don't save really anything. Um, I'm not saying that AJ Brown is going to be the be on this team for the next three or four years. I don't necessarily think that. I do believe that there's going to come a point where you're going to have to let AJ Brown probably walk because you're going to have to pay Devontae Smith big big money. It, it, it just, it, it seems like that's going to happen. But that's not this upcoming year. That's probably another two years. You know, you got Devontae Smith has one whole year left on his contract. So if the Eagles extended him, and let's say right now Devontae Smith has one year left on his contract and then an option year. The Eagles can pick up an option and then he would play uh, one more, two more years. So technically he has two more years on his contract. If they give him an extension, that option year will probably be the first year of his extension. Meaning, next year, he's playing under a rookie deal. They're not getting rid of, of, of A.J. Brown. Uh, I, I mean, you know, if, if you're going to get rid of A.J. Brown, to be quite honest with you, uh, you, you might do it 2025. Because then he's $26 million uh, against the cap. That's at the point you do it. So, for the purposes of this coming year... He's not going anywhere, and, and this should hopefully end it, okay? 
All right, it, it should hopefully end it. Now he was on, he was on the Up and Adam show. Um, I, I don't know. I never watched it. But uh, him and Devontae Smith, and and you know they they asked Devontae Smith, you know, what he thought of it, and this is what he said. I'm not. He ain't going to communicate. He said he ain't going anywhere. I agree. He's not going anywhere. Now, when they asked AJ Brown about the trade rumors, AJ Brown said this. Um, maybe they know something I don't. I've been through this before. I'm a vet. I remain quiet. If something happens, I'll be waiting by the phone. But if not, I'll be right here. So what he's saying is, I don't think they're going to trade me. I don't know that they're going to trade me. Uh, you know, if they do, they do. But if somebody knows something, I don't. I don't know. And so I think A.J. Brown handled it the way he needed to. Keep quiet. Let everybody else do their talking. You focus on yourself. Focus on your family. And it is what it is. The Eagles have no interest in trading him. Now, let's say let's say there was a couple things different about this all season so far. Let's say the Eagles went out and fired uh, Nick Sirianni, completely fired the whole coaching staff, and they built it from scratch. And they brought in guys that they basically think are going to be here for a while. At that point, I could see the Eagles saying, all right, we're going to try to get younger. We're going to make a move in, in a direction to, you know, possibly rebuild. Uh, and I would understand that. Now, if you then want to bring up guys like A.J. Brown and stuff for trade to get draft picks, I, I understand that on some level. But once they keep Nick Sirianni and they go get the coaches they get, they're telling you, they're, they're, they're telegraphing to all of us what their plan is. Their plan is is to, to bring, is to reload and then to come out next year and try to get back to where they were. The Eagles don't think they're as far off as everybody else do, or, or a lot of people do. Now, me personally, I, I do not believe that the Eagles are as far off as everybody acts like they are. I think that we had such a breakdown from a coaching standpoint, such a horrendous breakdown, that the talent was actually there. And the talent was the reason we got the 10-1. and 1. So the idea is you've got to keep the talent around you. You've got to keep that talent. And you've got to go out and you've got to add to it. And that's the goal, and that's Howie Roseman's job, and that's the goal of the offseason. It isn't to let a guy like A.G. Brown go. Uh, it, it just doesn't even make sense that he would be traded this year. Not when you bring him back Nick Sirianni. To me, the moment they brought Nick Sirianni back, that's the moment you know that this isn't a rebuild. They're giving this guy one last shot. You, Nick Sirianni's on the hot seat. They could lose the first three games next year. He's gone. He's gone. You're not going to start a whole new rebuild with a coach on that hot seat like that. No, you're going to give him everything he needs, and you're going to try to go out and fix this thing and see if it can be fixed. The strength of the Eagles on that offense is those two receivers, that tight end, that offensive line, and that quarterback. And that's a strength. You've got to build around it. We also know that the Eagles, they're not, they, they don't believe what a lot of us Eagle fans believe. They don't believe... They don't believe that the defense has to be violent, doesn't have to be aggressive. They put a lot more emphasis on offense. They're an offensive-minded team. Well, you get rid of A.J. Brown. It just doesn't make sense. You get rid of A.J. Brown, you're now worse on offense. We're going to trust Howie Roseman with a bunch of picks to go out and replace him. We keep, it took forever to get Devontae Smith in the draft. And then when you got A.J. Brown, it's such a rare thing that the Philadelphia Eagles have two wide receivers. You don't get rid of that. You build around it. You know, I know there, there's a rumor of A.J. Brown for Patrick Sertan. Listen, Denver's not good. The only way Denver's trading Patrick Sertan is if it has to deal with them moving up to get Caleb Williams. That, that's pretty much what they said. They're not going to trade him. And they're not going to trade him for a wide receiver. They do a much better job drafting wide receivers. Although I would love Patrick Sertan, but I would want Patrick Sertan and A.J. Brown. Okay? And like I said, I don't necessarily look at it and say, well, three, four years from now, uh, A.J. Brown will be here. I, I know that at some point you're going to be dealing with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith's salary. You can't have two guys making 20-something million dollars at wide receiver. I get it. But for the, for the this coming season... Right now? No. 
uh, he's you don't have to pay AJ uh, Devontae Smith all that money yet. You're st he's still in a rookie deal, so you wait at least one more year. Let's see what happens this year. If, if it, this year is a a disaster, then guess what? You're cleaning house, and when you clean house, everything's on the table. But uh, AJ Brown is a guy to continue to build around. And I, I am so sick and tired of these rumors. It, it, they just make no sense. And then the same people that are talking about trading A.J. Brown sit there and tell you that uh, Jalen Hurts isn't a good enough quarterback and he needs weapons around him. Well, if you truly believe that he needs a bunch of weapons around him, then why are you getting rid of one of the best? It, it doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, well, you paid the quarterback $50 million. He should be able to win without talent. No. Once you invest $50 million, what's another $20 million dollars uh, to make sure he has the best players around him. That's how the Eagles look at it. Uh, as, as long as Nick Sirianni's here and, and they're going to go down this route, these guys aren't getting traded. So we need to focus on getting better, what players we can bring in. We are in the addition mode, not the subtraction mode. Okay, And to me, A.J. Brown's going nowhere, and I'm happy about that. I really am. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, we, we need to focus on, on getting uh, cap money. We need to focus on getting De DeAndre Swift back. You know, uh, th there's another thing, you know. Uh, my man DeAndre Swift, already, already Micah Parsons, right? Already Micah, future Eagle Micah Parsons. Couldn't wait to the offseason to get an Eagle player on. Goes right back to the Philly area, gets DeAndre Swift on. You know he loves that Kelly Green. You know he's looking at that Green. He wants to be an Eagle so bad, so bad. It's just a matter of time. And by the way, the, way the, the media treats, you know, we think that A.J. Brown gets treated a certain way. You know, they're ready, they're ready to get rid of Michael Parsons. Uh, maybe not, but, uh, you know, a lot of people blame him for coming up empty and sure-handed in the playoffs. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I think if I was looking at a watch I'm not really wearing, I think, uh, I think my man, Mike, uh, future Eagle Michael Parsons, can't wait to be in Philly. But he had, he had DeAndre Swift on his show, and and he asked Swift about you know what his free agency. Here's what Swift said: DeAndre Swift says the only factor for him in free agency decision is whatever is the right situation, whatever is right for me and my family. That is really is all it comes down to. To me, that is what I interpret that as. I, I'm here for the taking. You want me, Eagles? Come and get me. You want to keep me uh, as a running back? Come and get me. The Eagles need to sign DeAndre Swift. They need to extend Hassan Reddick, and then they need to um, they need to make sure that they bring back DeAndre Swift for another year. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Fletcher Cox. We're not sure what's going to happen with Kelsey. It sounds like those guys are leaning towards retirement i'm hoping kelsey will come back at least one more year and fletcher cox for that matter he had a pretty good year but kelsey comes back at least one more year and gives it a try i still think he's gonna i still believe kelsey's coming back one more year because the eagles are gonna say to him listen we're not in a rebuild we, we we're running this thing back with, with with nick and we're gonna fix it and we want you to be part of it and i don't think i i he cannot like he cannot like the feeling of the way that they went out. So I, I think there, there's a chance that my man Kelsey will be back. But um, the Eagles, they're not, they're not rebuilding. They're retooling. Whether you agree with that, like it or not, it, it's the way it is. Once they kept Nick Sirianni, that's it. So our mindset needs to get to, all right, what do we got to do to be better? Because this is the way the Eagles are going. And I think you're going to see a very aggressive team. And I think they're going to go out, and I think I, I think they're going to be very aggressive. Listen, I think they've made some good moves already, all right? Even though Vic Fangio and Kelmore are my first choices, they're experienced coordinators. I love the defensive line coach pickup. I love the defensive back line pickup. And I think they've done some good things from that perspective already. Um, I will say this. Whatever happened with A.J. Brown and the Eagles, from, uh, they got to figure it out, a a and I'm sure they will. Um, but phew, it's going to be interesting. And, you know, I think that the Eagles need, need to revamp 
this team especially on defense. I think that's where most of your most of your free agency early moves got to go, and I think the draft. I think you need to retool your defense. The offense with a good coordinator and good coach, they'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine, assuming you get, like, Swift. I would love to see, like, DeAndre Swift back and then, like, mid-round take a running back, like a bigger physical running back. I love what the Detroit Lions have with Montgomery and Gibbs. Something to that effect would be perfect for the Eagles, and it's something that the Eagles could definitely do. So we'll see. But um, A.J. Brown, trade rumors, finally we can, as far as I'm concerned, put it to rest. That's what I'm saying. But will they? Absolutely not. There'll probably be some bogus trade rumors coming out. Um, probably right after this video goes up. But I like what A.J. Brown pretty much said. I liked what Devontae Smith said. And I think the Eagles are going to keep them both. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm sick as hell still. Yes, uh, 102 and a half degree fever the other day. Uh, my fever broke earlier today, but I'm still sick. So I am going to go get some rest. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a thing bad. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. You know, it's funny because people were talking about, oh, trade A.J. Brown, trade A.J. Brown. I'm still trying to add another receiver to what we already have. You have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and then what? Nothing. You have nothing. We still need a third wide receiver. Well, I'm going to trade A.J. Brown now and have just Devontae Smith and nothing else. Maybe we'll get Todd Stinkston back. Maybe we could call James Trash. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, Fred X is ready to make a comeback in the NFL. Get the hell out of here. Our receivers stink. We don't have the luxury, the luxury to go out and trade an A.J. Brown. Uh, we don't do good enough at the wide receiver position to do that. Forget it. Ain't no chance A.J. Brown goes anywhere. Denzel Washington out.